Now that we have the front view laid out, we'll pull the vertices out to give it depth. Make sure that area selection is on and change the coordinates to local Z so that we can move them in all views in only one direction. Watch the side and user view to decide how far out the vertices should go. You can use the front view to help you select the right vertices. We'll worry about the actual eyeball later. Right now, we just want to get the basic shape of the face. When we're happy with that, we'll go back and add more detail to the eyes, nose, and mouth. Except for the profile spline, some of this is hard to decide exactly where it should go. You may find it easier to fix after we put the skin on. I think we're ready for the skin. Let's make a reference copy and put the surface modifier on that. Flip the normals if it's facing the wrong way. The threshold is the tolerance or distance that the points can be apart and still create a surface. Add remove interior patches will fix some problems of overlapping patches. Turn off the vertex ticks on the reference copy and rename it to skin. Rename the original also. If you have holes in your surface, then it's because you have either separated the points further than the threshold, or you have more than four sides. As soon as you fix it, the surface will pop right on. The face is looking good so far, so let's hide the skin and continue building the rest of the head. This time we'll start in the side view. We'll skip over the ear and do that last. One of the really nice things about surface tools is that you can easily change how much detail you need in a specific area. Now just connect the dots.
I forgot to start them on smooth, so I'll change them all now. Let's see how our lines are welded. This one should continue to the profile. This needs to stop here, and this should go straight across. These are good. This shouldn't be welded, and the bottom should be separate. We'll detach the problem lines. and detach the outside spline separately. Now detach the splines we want them welded to. Attach and weld. I noticed that some of these didn't snap, so I'll make sure these are fused together. This time we need to restrict it to the local X and watch mainly the top view to see how far to pull them out. And one last column. That looks done. Now unhide the skin. Usually I run into bugs on purpose to show you how to get around them, but this time I found a new one. You can build onto your spline three different ways. You can select the spline and continue on by using Create Line under Modify. You can create a spline separately and then attach it. Or you can select the spline and use the line with New Shape unchecked to continue on. I chose the third way, which for some reason breaks the reference so we'll have to make a new reference copy. Normally the skin would have automatically updated. Now mirror the surface and choose either instance or reference and align it to the center. From here we just modify the splines.